Hello everyone and welcome to my first video in 2023 and it is going to be testing my version of Skylon. I have made a model of Skylon in Blender. I have imported it into Kerbal Space Program. I did not do the landing gear. Those are from adjustable landing gear. But otherwise I did everything else and we are going to see how it works. Probably this is going to take more than one video. Uh, there are liable to be things, all sorts of things that are going to go wrong. But Skylon is a proposed SSTO, single stage to orbit space plane uh, from Reaction Engines Limited. Uh, they are working on the very complicated engine that is required by it. Uh, that is the Sabre engine. The Sabre engine has two modes. It's got an air breathing mode and a closed cycle mode, in other words, a rocket mode. So first it sucks in air to produce thrust and that saves it from having to carry the oxygen for that mode. It gets up to Mach 5.5-ish and then it switches to rocket mode so it can get into space where, where there's no air, right? Uh, so it's very efficient uh, at sea level in the air breathing mode and they stated somewhere between 4,100 and 9,200 seconds of ISP. Uh, that's a pretty big range. I assume it's uh, lower in ramjet mode, which is at higher speeds uh, past Mach 3. Uh, but I've just kept it to 9,200 for now because we've already got two modes here the air breathing and rocket mode and I didn't know exactly how to manage the let's have lower ISP at higher velocities thing. So we'll set that aside for now and go really efficient first. As far as mass is concerned this is almost right. It's supposed to be 325 tons. We have 329 tons. Now I don't know what the dry mass is supposed to be. Heck uh, reaction engines limited probably don't know exactly what the dry mass would be either. Uh, it hasn't been built yet, so uh, it's they they have proposed some materials, but you know how that goes. Uh, everything is optimistic at this point. It's supposed to be titanium, and then it has a ceramic skin, which I assume tiles, but none of the renders show tiles, so I don't know how it would be. So I've sort of uh, not made it metallic. I've made it sort of like if it was ceramic-ish, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll, I'll make it tile-ish later. Uh, we do have a cargo bay, but we have nothing inside of it for the testing, so no cargo right now. It's supposed to be able to carry like 15 tons, but of course, uh, as far as my testing is concerned, this is sort of a competitor to Venture Star in a way, but it's much lighter. It's 325 to 329 tons, and that's a lot lighter than Venture Star's 1,000 tons. So, but then it also doesn't carry quite as much payload. How much payload can it carry up? Who knows? We'll have to test that out. Uh, it's supposed to be able to do 15 tons, but whether it actually can here, that is a question. As far as the empty weight is concerned, by the way, um, the prescribed empty weight is 53.4 tons. We are a little bit heavier than that, 56.66 tons. So, yeah, we uh, might want to lighten it up a little bit right now. But we'll test out the basics first. We have to get off a runway. That will be the first challenge. There'll be other minor things like whether the plumes look right, whether the control... Well, I don't think the whether the control surfaces work is a minor thing, but, you know... Um, there's, the engines have a little bit of gimbling, so we could maybe, maybe pull up even without the control surfaces working. It's only two degrees of gimbling, though. So, or thrust vectoring, however you want to put it. There's a whole matter of how the engines work and whether they get the right performance at the right time. That's another issue. Okay, so here it is. I uh, I am tempted to do things to it to make it more realistic. I mean, in other words, so far we've basically seen artistic renders, right? Uh, one thing would be to sort of flatten the bottom instead of having a this curvature maybe have a more gentler curvature, a wider curvature. Uh, basically keep it flatter and sort of mold the wings a little bit better into the body. Oh, I forgot to tilt the wings up. Hold on, let me pull that back in. Uh, they're supposed to be tilted up a bit so that the thrust of the uh, rocket engines go through the center mass better. But uh, initially they had the jet engines having a tilted down rear end, but they don't have that on their website anymore. I based this on what they had on their website uh, as far as what it looks like. Um, probably 10 degrees. It's uh, 5 degrees per tick when you've got shift held down. 
Okay, the landing gear is a little bit unsightly, but we'll just deal with that for now. It's attached to the body, not the wings, so that's why I didn't go with it. Alright, let's try that. There are things I'd like to do. I did take one liberty, and that was to change the shape of the vertical stabilizer. It was supposed to be swept back more, but that creates complications in Kerbal Space Program when it comes to creating the control surface. So I decided to just make it straight like this, so that it would be easier to make the control surface. I don't think it should make a big difference in terms of dynamics. Anyway, so we're just on the regularish runway, and we are at Cape Canaveral. And they said it would require a 5.9 kilometer runway or 3.7 mile long runway. Uh, 155 meter per second, and yeah, that's 300 knots. 155 meters per second and 300 knots is still quite a lot. So I'll use atmospheric autopilot initially and ignition. Oh, great. For some reason, it's asking for liquid fuel, even though I told it to be liquid hydrogen dependent. Okay, I will have to do some changes. Okay, it was sort of a subtle module manager syntax thing. I think I've got it right now. Let's see. Oh, I only have... Well, okay, I don't really have a plume. <laughs> um, I was hoping to have a plume, but real plume is not apparently doing it for me right now. All right. There are problems, but we're off. We'll work on the plume situation later. Again, using atmospheric autopilot, and let's try and rotate. Uh, I felt like the tail actually helped us go up a little bit there. <laughs> okay, but sort of the speed that we're supposed to. Okay, but let's throttle down right now. It was overheating the engine, though. That's worrying. But we clearly don't need all the thrust to go up right now. Right now, and now, okay, the throttle range, I'm trying to figure out. Now, there's supposed to be 2,000 kilonewton engines, but I copied the, the rapier engine configuration a bit. So, you know how the rapier engine tends to have really high thrust in certain conditions? We'll see how that does or does not work out for us. We don't need to go any faster right now, there's too much drag. So we'll take this. It's very quiet without the, the, uh, the sound of the engines and the plume go together, so we are not currently hearing any of it. But hey, we got off the runway without exploding. There might have been a tail strike there. They might want to consider putting a little wheel on the tail or something, just in case. You know, like Concord had. Okay, let's start flattening out here. The balance between the hydrogen and oxygen is another thing that we'll be interested in because I don't know how much surplus hydrogen we need for the air breathing mode. It's all down to testing. Now, we really don't want the air breathing mode to push us too far beyond Mach 5. We want Mach 5.4 or something like that. We are accelerating right now. They said they would switch mode at 28.4 kilometers altitude. So we'll see. I'm not using full thrust right now. You can see a huge angle of attack necessary because we frankly don't have much lift from the wings. They are Fermi Aerospace Research configured wings. Okay, well our acceleration is slowing down. I'll put on the full thrust. Uh, well, I don't want to actually go down though. We are still accelerating. But eventually it'd be better just to switch to rocket mode and head on up. Yeah, Mach 5.4 seems like a reasonable limit to this. Oh, we're getting some heat too. Okay, I'm gonna pull up. And switch mode. 
Oh, well, this one has plumes. Okay, so rocket mode has plumes, but we don't have anywhere near the Delta V we need. And it's tough to pull up right now. Let me get RCS on, maybe. I'm trying to pull up. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to SAS. Oh, 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 okay. SAS can definitely pull up. Atmospheric God Pod didn't want to, I guess. Okay, again, 2,000 kilonewton rated engines. We'll see how much surplus liquid oxygen we have, and that'll tell me how much extra hydrogen to add in. We do have plenty of extra volume to work with here. I'm sort of impressed that it actually got off the runway as it did. Okay, well... I shut off with two meters per second left down here. Read something different there. We are about 2,000 meters per second away from actually having the ability to make orbit here, and that's without any payload. Um, the RCS seems to work. It's just orientation RCS. It wouldn't be able to dock to anything. Let's just make sure it can do enough turning and everything. But given the remaining liquid oxygen, I can calculate how much extra hydrogen we would like. I think we want 117,000 extra units of, or liters, of extra hydrogen. I can't quite figure out exactly how to fix the plume issue. Okay, well, for now, let me uh, get the added hydrogen in and see if that gets us a better shot at orbit. Okay, here we go again. Uh, atmospheric all powered on, throttle up, and ignition. And yeah, I don't know exactly how to solve the plume problem since as far as I can tell I added the plume to both modes. Um, yeah, I'll have to see about that. Well, I'll keep it full throttle. Okay. Good, don't strike the tail. Okay, well... Well, we're going up very slowly. <laughs> Try and go up a little bit faster. Okay, there is, uh... Overheating, apparently, at some points. So now we have the extra hydrogen. I'll just try and keep it below Mach 1 for a little bit. So I will share it once I'm satisfied with it, but we are a long way off from me being sure that I've got enough of it right. Especially since I haven't tested it with payload yet, and we haven't gotten to orbit and all that business. But hopefully we'll get closer here this time. I don't think it'll be in this video as far as sharing it is concerned. Still, uh, pretty good just to get off the runway, frankly. Going down a little bit, but Mach 4. Okay, Mach 5. And switching modes basically when they said they would. RCS and switching to SAS. Ooh. And actually, Smart ASS would be better. Yeah, I don't think we'll quite make it, but we'll be closer than last time, that's for sure. But probably I have to lighten up the dry mass of it since we are higher than the dry mass that they specified. How light it can actually be made is a good question, though. It's not a small body. Yep. Oh, and uh, one other trick is uh, residuals, but um, uh, we still see more oxygen that's been left over. If we could solve that, that's, you know, 16.6 .6 tons, no, more than 16.6 .6 tons of oxygen, or like 18 tons of oxygen. So if you figure that, you know, if we just got a little bit of benefit out of that, we'd be a lot better off. I don't know what this 1,471 meters per second is, but... Uh, um, certainly we're not going to get that with 
7,000 units of hydrogen, so I don't know what it's reading there, but yeah, we, uh, we could improve upon that, but we need to make things lighter. Right now, even our takeoff mass is higher than it's supposed to be, so maybe we should just reduce how much oxygen there is so we don't have a spare, and maybe that will get us our payload mass as well. So, I am going to continue working on this. It's not just that that I have to fix. There's some tweaking of nodes and stuff like that. And I have to figure out the plume. At least the RCS seems to be working right and the control surfaces seem fine. So, yes, this is what I've decided to work on as my first project in 2023. And we'll see how it goes. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.